So two finals down in the women's doubles. Kitty Tarakal and Prajong Jai were too good today for Poon Lok Yao and Seying Sweat. And one of the strangest retirements I've ever seen in the men's singles final. Lee Hyun Il forced to retire after an injury to his eye caused by his own racket late on in the third game. And we've got men's doubles, sorry, mixed doubles up for you next. It's the final between Go Soon Huat and Chevon Lai Jemi taking on their teammates, Tan Kian Meng and Lai Hei Jing. You can see the draw. From round two in this week, there were only two Malaysian pairs left in the mixed doubles draw, and it's a fantastic result, particularly for this home crowd that both of them made their way through to today's final here at the Far East Malaysian Masters. So Siobhan Lai Jemi leads the way, her partner Go Soon Huat, a very new pairing, formerly a singles player. He's turned his talents to mixed doubles and it's proving to be a great decision. but they're up against the home crowd favorites, number two seeds. Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing. So I'm interested to hear the noise from the crowd throughout this final, an all Malaysian affair. No doubt they'll be cheering for every point, whichever way it goes and whatever the result. Everybody in this arena will be thrilled with a Malaysian winner. It looks as though Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing won the toss. I think they elected to receive. We'll soon find out. Tan Kian Meng, the 22 year old from Johar Bahru in Johor. He and his partner ranked number nine in the world currently. A career high for them. Lai Pei Jing, his partner, 24 years of age from Kuantan. Reasonably comfortable route through to today's final. No doubt the toughest match they faced was yesterday's semi-final. Against the pair from Hong Kong, it was nearly an hour long. Go Soon Huat, the 26-year-old. 
former singles player, perhaps still plays some singles from Malacca in Malaysia. And his partner, Chevon Lai Jemi. 23-year-old from Salangor, Salangor who won the Sukma Games, the national Malaysian Games here in this arena not six months or so ago. They've had some tough battles out there yesterday's semi-final against the number seven seeds, Tontawi Ahmed and Gloria Wajaya. Tremendous result for them to come through that match against such well-known opponents. But it is a new pairing between the Malaysians, and uh, so it's the first time these two have met in competition. Our umpire, Mr. Oscarino. Ready? Robertus Tommy of Indonesia. On my right. And his service Stand judge. Yama. And live Mr. Sai Malaysia. Kit of Hong Kong. And on my left, Kosun Wat and Chevron Jamie Lai, Malaysia. Lai Beijing, to Sun, to Kosun Wat. Love all, play. So Lai Pei Jing in blue at the far end with the serve and her partner Tang Kian Meng. Tan Kian Meng is on form today. If he is, he and Lai Pei Jing are a very difficult pair to beat. His partner Lai Pei Jing, they're so solid in all aspects of the game. And they're a very well structured mixed doubles pair, the pair in blue. If Tan Kian Meng is on good form then this new pairing in yellow are in for a very tough battle. Great play though. Two, one. From Chevron Lai Jemmy. Great court coverage at the front. Jemmy just couldn't get a racket onto that. Her, par her partner struggling to fill in the gap. Great smash from Go soon flat. Splitting his opponent's defense right down the middle. Got a great return of serve, Tan Kian Meng.
And again, more good attacking play from Siobhan Lai. Jemmy, but she just didn't connect with the kill at the net on the forehand. Good serve by Jemmy, the error on return. Gives this new Malaysian pairing a two-point gap early on in the first. Well, some pretty short rallies so far. It all seems about serve and return at the moment. Pretty cheap points, nobody yet quite working up a sweat. Yeah, it was a good early block from Tang Yan Men to keep the shuttle going down. My Jemmy unable to control the lift. And a bit of luck with the Six. net cord. More experienced pair back in the lead. Really nothing in this opening game at the moment. Ball. Uh, just checking the racket's okay after that Seven. clash in the middle. Nine. Oh, brilliant. Cutting out from Chevron Lai, Jemmy. Taking it so early and just bringing it down in front of Tang Kian Meng. Well, it's this new pairing for Malaysia that they're just leaving a few gaps and a couple of unforced errors, but really nothing much in this opening game. The more experienced pair, the number two seeds with a three-point advantage. But nobody out there so far really given the opportunity to play free-flowing badminton yet. Some short rallies, a lot of serve and return winners and errors.
Great solid attacking from Tan Kian Meng. Just playing a safe, solid, powerful game. On occasion, he has a habit of mixing things up, varying things a little too much. He did it in yesterday's semi final. It was perhaps unnecessary. Using a bit more racket skill to try and force the openings, but it, was, it wasn't really needed. Slices and cuts. He made as many errors doing that as he did winning the rally. He looked more comfortable just playing safe, solid badminton. And so far today he's been doing that and it's really helping this pair stay in control of this opening game. Four points up now. Yeah, great pressure from the number two seeds. The flick wasn't the best. It was a good return of serve from Lai Pei Jing. And her partner backed up really well to kill at the net. Great return of serve, that tumbling net shot. Good judgment, Lai Pei Jing letting that one Set fall wide. They maintain that four point 11. gap. Four. Very well structured attack from Tan Kian Meng. Choosing his shots wisely today. Service fault call. Service over. Service fault called racket head too high. Racket head must be below your hand, really, your forefinger, which is, of course, on your grip. So it must be in a downwards pointing position as you strike the shuttle. Such a common fault with serving, especially when you're trying to play the flick serve. The racket head has a tendency to come upwards slightly. Oh, great pick up from Tan Kian Meng. But a good finish in the end. Go Soon Huat following in. Set over. 13, 17. And this is what this crowd is hoping for more rallies of that kind of. 
shot making and defensive play. Yeah, good pressure from Lai Pei Jing at the net. Well, Lai Pei Ching doing all the running. Moment of confusion in the middle there where she hoped her partner was going to pick up that shot at the back, but she came sprinting in. And it was an awful recovery shot to the net from Go. And easily put away by Lai Pei Ching in the end. Great cross net. Tang Kiao Meng outstretched to recover. 15, Good return of serve. 20, so the more sorry, so the more experienced of the two Malaysian pairs, the number two seeds still have their four point lead. And let's go with the serve trying to save another. Game point. Well played, Chevon Lai, Jemmy. She looks fierce at the front of the court at times, but they're still three points down. Go soon, Huat, to save another game point. Great powerful smash from Tan Kian Meng right into the body of Siobhan Lai Jemmy and that brings about the end of the opening game here in this mixed doubles final. All Malaysian final and it's the number two seeds, the more experienced pair who take the opener 21-17. four-point advantage midway through the game they managed to cling on to it all the way through to the end of the game So Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing, the slightly more experienced pair, they themselves have only been playing together for maybe a year or 18 months, but they've had a tremendous last six months of tournaments. They took that opening game 21-17. 
But apart from the scoreline, there wasn't a great deal in it. Chevon Lajemi looking very confident at the front of the court. Very good in attack. This more experienced pair, the number two seeds, just looking that a little bit more organized at times. They've been on a great run of form, as I said, many finals throughout 2016. Since winning that Grand Prix gold in Vietnam back in the spring, they went on to take the Thai SCG Open title and the Macau Open title, both Grand Prix golds as well, in the latter stages of last year. And they'll be looking to do one better here than they did this time last year, one of their first tournaments. They were the finalists, only to be beaten by the Chinese pair of Zheng Siwei and Li Jinhui. Covered Chevron Lai Jemmy jumping out on the cross. Oh, what a shame for Go Soon Huat. Some good variations throughout that rally, some punch clears, some slice drops. Just to try to mix things up, but I think he went for one too many in the end. And that attack maybe should have been straight back at Lai Pei Jing, or at least in front of them both. The sliced cross over to Tan Kiang Meng, probably not the best decision anyway. Oh, wonderful skill from Tan Kiang Meng. Just the turning of the wrist. Inside out sent both of his opponents the wrong way. Very difficult skill. Great defence from Lai Jemmy, and she's back on the attack. Oh, and again, we saw that earlier in the opening game. Looking to cut out the cross and just didn't get her racket on it. Catches her partner by surprise, who has to react very late. Once again, probably the wrong auction going for the slice cross drop. Six, 
Not only the not only a bad choice really, but also a poorly executed shot. Go Sun Huat. Allowing the more experienced Malaysian pair to get ahead again by three points. Sometimes having a short break doesn't actually help. When you're on a bit of a roll, the momentum. That service error from Tang Yan Meng. Allowing their opponents back to within two, but the pressure was too much. To Chevron Light, Jemmy. Seven, four. in. It was a very confident lead from Tang Kia Meng. I don't think he can quite seven, believe seven, that it fell in. Five, seven. Yeah. Inside right. the back line, as you could see there. The length was good, but the width left a little space. And they've got their three point lead back. from Lai Peijing covering the spaces all the way through Nine, that rally and five. looking for the cross. And she was in very fast to kill. 9-5 in front now. And the pressure's getting Ten, to this new five. Mixed doubles pairing, Go Soon Huat and Siobhan Lai at Jemmy. They're five points behind in the second and a game down. Well, the straight net was open. He went cross and didn't quite Ten. connect. Tan Kian Meng. Well, connected too well with the backhand lift. Go Soon Huat, and it drifts long. That five-point lead still to the favour of Tan Kian Meng and Lai Peijing. They're a game up, and now 11-6 up in the second.
No coaches involved, of course, as you can see. Malaysia versus Malaysia in this final. Coaching staff happy to let them get on with it. Go soon, Huat. It looks getting some attention to his to his right knee and to his outside of his. Uh, Right thigh muscle there, the IT band. Go, ready. Until recently, Go Soon Huat was a singles player. Go. In this event last year, he was only featured in the singles. He lost to this year's champion, in fact, Angus Unkar Long, in the last 16, 21, 17, 21, 13. Life. Siobhan Lai-Jemi featured last year playing with another partner. Fai Yin Wong, things. I believe, and they lost in the last 16 right. to a very strong Korean pair, Jul and Chung, in uh, straight games. What's quite amazing, really, about this new Malaysian pairing, Go Soon Huat for years has been playing singles and very rarely do we see him get past the opening round, maybe round two in major events, but they've been playing mixed doubles together for just two months. This is their fourth event, and in all four, they've made the final. So it seems that he's really found his game now, playing mixed with this partner. They won the Malaysian International Challenge back in November. And then they went on to win the Scottish Open and the Welsh Open over in Europe. And a fantastic result here for them. At home in Malaysia and at a Grand Prix gold to make another final. And they're not out of it just yet, just four points behind Eight, in this second 12. game to their slightly more experienced Malaysian opponents. Yeah, good judgment again, Tan Kian Meng. Seven points now, the lead. And some pressure now on the shoulders of Go Sun Huat and Chevon Lai Jemi. Good defense. But not good attack. That one in the net. Six, eight. And all of the momentum now with Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing in blue. Well, the jump out in the backhand corner with the straight smash. Couldn't control the accuracy, Seven, eight, it drifts wide. Eight.
And yet another. Well, it was a great slice drop shot, just brushing across the feathers with a touch of reverse slice. And what a run of points it's been for Tan Kian Meng, Wai Pei Jing, suddenly 19-8 up. And a huge run of points, Tan Kian Meng serving now with match points, looking in great shape here, this slightly more experienced mixed doubles Malaysian pair in blue. So the bookies would give massive odds right now for Go Soon Huat to come back and win this, but it's not to be. It was a comfortable end to the match for Tian Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing. Either way, this home crowd would have been delighted with either pair lifting this trophy. It wasn't a classic final, but it was a very dominant performance anyway. Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing. And I have to duck as Tan Kian Meng's racket comes towards us. But they've been in great shape all the way through the week. And it's another Grand Prix gold victory for Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing. And what a great scoreline as well 21 17, 21 9. And they are our Victor Far East 2017 Malaysian Masters Mixed Doubles Champions. Beijing taking a lot of time out to sign a few autographs. She doesn't look as though she's even broke a sweat. And that will be delightful for these Malaysian fans to get some autographs from their heroes. So just getting ready for the prize giving ceremony for the mixed doubles final. And it was uh, one-way traffic, really, in the end. Tan Kiao Meng and Lai Pei Jing just too organised, just too strong for their opponents today. Go Soon Huat and Chevon Lai Jemi.
So our celebrities coming down to award the prizes, just taking their time, acknowledging the crowd. The prize is being awarded today by the Chief Minister of Sarawat. Well, it was a good start to the match, a tough battle. It was pretty even and towards midway through the opening game. But it wasn't to be today for Go Soon Huat and Siobhan Lai Jemi. They are our mixed doubles runners up. And pick up a check for prize money of a little over four and a half thousand US dollars. But our champions for 2017 at the Victor Far East Malaysian Masters, Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing, fully deserved and another Grand Prix gold victory under their belts. A check for $9,480. And a couple of very cute, cuddly toys as well. Well, it was a very dominant performance in the end for Tan Kian Meng and Lai Pei Jing in the mixed doubles final we've just witnessed. Not quite the final everybody here was hoping for, the thriller we hoped from an all Malaysian affair. But we have got men's doubles up for you next. More Malaysians, we've got the new young hopefuls, Go Zhe Fei and Nur Izadin, teenagers 